welcome back everybody to my channel youtube channel <laughs> now i know it's been a while since i posted my last video i've been i've been quite busy and i also got a bit sick but i'm feeling better now so yeah that's not gonna deter me let's keep going let's keep going so um in my last video i did a few designs and um one of them actually got back to me i think it was the first fashion design website that i did um amanda lad sherry or lady sherry I, I don't know how to say the name i'm so sorry so she got back to me but she told me that she already had a team working on her website so uh yeah that didn't pan out but in the process of all of that i did land one client thank you very much thank you very much big milestone one client down nine more to go so um this client specifically wanted an online learning platform so i'll show you guys how i wireframe it and all that stuff because i can't really get into the nitty-gritty details and all that stuff so instead of just telling you guys that i have a client and just leaving it at that um i will at least show you how i wireframe my stuff so now this will become a whole wireframing tutorial you're welcome let's get right into it and let me show you guys how i do my stuff how i do my wireframes i follow a certain number of steps so um the first step is i start off with a very clean workspace um i turn on my grid with 12 columns that's the default one you find in adobe xd i just find that much simpler to use and then i start laying out all my elements i try to keep my grid on throughout the entire design to make sure everything is well aligned i bring in my elements and um, i keep them very basic and make the colors very neutral and sometimes i do throw in one color just to be fancy because i'm just like that so after you have all your elements aligned and you have a specific flow going on in your website that you want and the flow is basically um dynamic and would change depending on the kind of website that it is and the kind of content that you want on there so after i'm done with all the basic neutral um wireframe with the neutral colors and all that stuff i start bringing in the actual text so while you bring in the actual text in the number one my number one pet peeve is people who use lorem ipsum i think i think it's a bit lazy actually i just feel like it gives it more of a personal feel if you put an effort into putting in the text if your client has not yet provided the text um, to you and um, after that depending on the relationship you have with your client you can send all your um, wireframes when you are done or when you're at this phase so they can start sending in through their change request and feedback so you can actually um, change it um, and not go too in depth before they actually ask for major changes and all that stuff else you can just keep going in depth and then send them the first draft um, but I much prefer sending them the wireframes to make sure to, that I keep them in the loop and everything is working out nicely and that I don't go too in depth or end up going down the wrong path. You know, sometimes you deal with clients who don't know exactly what they want. So this method works with them when you send them wireframes because then they start getting an actual image of what they want based off what you want. Ha! Let's go. So recap on all the tips is um, keep your stuff aligned. You can use the grid layout for that to make sure everything is aligned use neutral colors bring in your actual text and when you bring in your actual text <laughs> do not use lorem ipsum please i'm begging you do not use lorem ipsum and then after that start adding your images icons logos etc and then you can send it through and that's basically how i do my wireframing in adobe xd so i don't know if people actually want me to go in depth with the adobe xd stuff keyboard shortcuts tools and all that stuff i'm not sure you know i tried doing that method it seemed a bit too boring in the last video people didn't seem to um enjoy much of the actual part where i'm designing it and spending too much time i'm not sure if it takes up too much time damn your attention span guys but it's fun um let me know if you guys want full tutorials on exactly how i do my stuff exactly where i, where, where I put my stuff exactly why i do this and that and yeah thank you very much for watching that's how i frame my um projects and um i'm glad because i finally got my first client i'm hoping i'm gonna get my second client very soon you know it's only it's only march and there's a lot more months to go so i'm feeling very confident that i will get 10 clients by the end of this year i will have worked with 10 clients by the end of this year might be even more so who knows who knows 
thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe this is me quentin out peace